Hi, I'm Dr. Nick from Creative Maths, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about a game that's useful for developing fluency in multiplication called Star Capture. The game is played on a paper grid, and this is what the end of a game would look like. So, what's it all about? Well, the game is good for practicing multiplication facts, and it also reinforces the area calculation or the area model of multiplication. It can be played by two or three players, probably better for two, but if you've got a non-number of students in your class, it can be played with three. You need grid paper and two different coloured pens. And it's really helpful if your students are not familiar or not fluent with their multiplication facts to have a multiplication table. Either one of ours or a more usual looking one is fine. Or even a calculator, because the, the idea is to develop their fluency. The board for this game is an 11 by 11 grid containing 12 stars, and you just make them up. With the grid, the players take turns to draw one or two straight lines to claim a rectangular area with exactly one star in it. So you can't have no stars, you can't have more than one star. Inside the rectangle you claim, you write the multiplication expression and you add the total to your score. So here's a demonstration of the game being played by two people who are signified as blue and green. You can see there's an 11 by 11 grid and it's got 12 stars in it. And it's not fancy, it's just been drawn by hand. Now the first player is blue and draws two lines at right angles to each other, though they don't have to be at right angles, and counts how many squares there are. So you can see that there are six rows and four columns, so this is 6 times 4, which is 24, which blue adds to their score in the scoring list. Next it is Green's turn, and they're having a, a good think about where's the best place to put their lines, and decides on drawing two lines in the bottom right-hand corner, counts up the number of columns, which is, oh, there are three rows times eight columns, which is also 24. Students will see that certain numbers pop up quite often. So it's Blue's turn now. It's trying to work out what to do next. Decides to go across the top right, oh, top left hand corner. And this is a 4x4 four four square, which gives 16, adds that on to their total. And now Green, there's nothing really obvious for Green to do because you can't choose the ones in the middle because you've got to only draw two lines. So um, green, uh, yeah, green decides to do a very long, thin, well, not that long, a reasonably long, thin rectangle, which is five rows of two, so that comes to ten. Next, it's Blue's turn. Blue decides to do a very long, thin rectangle, which is eight by. 1, so that's 8, leaving green to decide between a number of different ones that are all pretty much the same. So green just does one line. One line is fine. So 3 by 3 is 9. Um, blue can see uh, similarly another 9, decides to, so does two lines there to get 3 by 3, which equals 9, adds 9 to the total. And you can see them finishing off here with lots of little rectangles. If there's already a rectangle there, you don't need to draw lines. You can draw zero lines if you want to, if it's possible to claim a, a rectangle containing just one star or exactly one star. There's always the opportunity to count the squares if the people, if the people playing are not sure about their multiplication fact. So it is self-correcting. And you can also check at the end that the two numbers, the two scores, add up to the total number of squares, which in this case is 121. So you can see that blue has scored a total of 65, and green has scored a total of 56. And 65 and 56 equals 121, which is the total number of squares in the larger grid. And so blue in this case, is the winner. Now, there's a clear first player advantage, so you should always play two games and total the scores for the two games where each player takes turn to go first. So that's um, Star Capture. There's some, a whole lot of variations that you can do for this. So you can have a bigger grid, which means that people will need to get bigger scores will need to use some of the more 
um, challenging multiplication facts such as seven eights and eight nines and so on. And the grid does not have to be a square. It could be a whole page of paper. And you can have more or fewer stars. The more stars you have, the smaller the rectangles are and the easier it is. So fewer stars makes it more of a challenge. When you're making a board, you could have the players take turns in putting the stars onto the board until you have the right number. Um, and also, in this particular variation, we only allowed up to two lines to be drawn. You can, you could allow three or four lines to be drawn. So that's it. This is this has been Star Capture with Dr. Nick. Um, if you like this, please like the video, subscribe, and consider becoming a channel member because that helps us to to keep going and to produce more and more videos that can help you and your students. I really appreciate the um, people who are channel members who help to make these videos possible.